Hey there, it's Joe. So you're wondering how to determine the number of flutes an animal should have for a typical machining application? Well, it all comes down to chip control. So on your softer materials, such as your aluminums or plastics, you're going to be able to take a fairly heavy chip load per tooth. And those uh, chips are going to need room to evacuate. Otherwise, they're going to wind up building up on your cutter, and your cutter's going to wind up breaking, or you're going to have issues with your part. So on the soft materials, you're going to want to use generally either a two flute or a three flute end mill. I typically like using the three flute end mill on those. It gives me a fairly good uh, metal removal rate and I have less chatter issues with the three flute end mill than I do on the two fluters. Now uh, on your finishing applications on the soft materials, you can use an end mill that has more than three flutes. You can use like let's say a five fluid end mill because you have a light radial depth of cut you don't have as much chips in there and they're going to be able to evacuate now if you use that same five fluter um, for roughing it's going to wind up breaking you know filling with chips and breaking but uh, that five fluid end mill will give you a faster uh, finish feed rate uh, so it'll be able to reduce your cycle times now let's take a look at the harder materials such as your steels and your stainlesses. You're not able to take as heavy of a, a chip load per tooth on those um, and also the chips don't tend to build up on your cutter so you can have more flutes when uh, roughing the harder materials. Typically you're going to wind up wanting to use a 4 or 5 flute end mill when roughing those. Uh, I like using the 5 flute end mills. Um, it gives me a fairly good metal removal rate and it uh, gives me good finish uh, cycle times. So I, I, it also has less chatter issues again than it, like let's say a four flute animal would have. Um, now you can also on those you can use end mills that have more than five flutes. Um, but those are mainly going to be for your finishing applications. So you can get up to like let's say a 9 or an 11 fluid end mill. Um, so that's going to give you a fast uh, feed rate when finishing. But those can only take a light radial depth of cut. If you try and go too heavy on, a, on the radial uh, cut on those, um, they're going to wind up binding with chips and it's, they're going to wind up breaking. So you can go in with the, let's say the five fluid end mill, rough out your part, then go in with a nine fluter and get your fast uh, finish feed rate for your reduced cycle times. Uh, so I hope this information was informative. Thanks for watching and take it easy.